my scrubby friends, I just want to get right all done, on real quick and do a quick little um, overview of what I'm planning of doing and what I'm thinking about for this week's Double Vision, so my double page spread series that I'm doing. I have been enjoying thoroughly uh, the process of going about thinking differently of how to um, find inspiration and use different things for inspiration. So one of the things on the podcast that we were talking about, so if you haven't seen the Scrap Gals have a podcast, and we talked about double page spreads and different ways that you could interpret or use inspiration. And one thing that we got talking about was using two layouts from the same designer from like uh, from the same designer or like from the same line. So my first thought was to go to uh, Maggie Holmes because I love Maggie Holmes or like Crate Paper and pick out um, which you totally can do, but I decided to pick one designer because usually their styles are similar, and so I picked two Maggie Holmes. It was really, really hard because a lot of one, her, a lot of her stuff is similar, and two, a lot of them don't have multiple photos. So as you can see, what I'm doing does not. So my first thought was to just do, you know, one thing on one page and one thing on the other, which you definitely could do. But I'm going to try to tie elements in from this layout and this layout and spread them all the way across. So I am think I love how Maggie Holmes usually does journaling around the outside or like the outside of her photos. So I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to do it. This is how I'm going to start it off. So I'm using white because white will be a good way to have it flow really well. And Maggie always likes to use lots of layers which I love. I love layers. So I think I'm thinking of maybe having this spread all the way across here and maybe have um, some layers sticking out here and then go all the way across. It's kind of like my thought. And I love how she has tags sticking out so I think I'll probably try to tie some elements here and I'm thinking about adding a strip across both sides but we'll see because I really do like how she has a journaling so I don't know maybe I'll do the journaling like kind of around this way I'm gonna keep these photos these sizes I was thinking about maybe printing this off bigger but I kind of like that it's a little bit smaller um, and it can kind of be layered so I also want to make sure I have elements of um, tags for all. I love how the title is up here. So maybe, maybe I'll do the title up across or down at the bottom or something. Uh, we'll see. Because this one has it here. And I could def the thing about having these two photos like this is it wouldn't work that way. So unless I went and had all three of these photos here like across like this, right? I probably would stagger them because I really like the way staggered photos look. And I probably, uh, see I don't like, I like this, but I think it would look better maybe like this. Maybe more like that or something. Mm -hmm. Um. Or something like that just barely barely staggered I don't know we'll see and then maybe like I could stick these on here like this and still have it like this and there'd not be a lot of space but I kind of like the idea of having a big photo and some small photos together and I just don't know if it would work as well I mean it would to like do that and then have these two kind of like that maybe I don't know we'll see so we'll see as you can see there's lots of playing around that can be got be gotten done and I mean she has a title like this that wouldn't work with the way that I have my photos but I definitely can add little bits and pieces of stuff um, to to my spread I think that's why I want to keep uh, a big the big ones here and this one like this because then I'll be able to um, add more stuff to this. Now like I said 
this has a lot of white space and lots of like the layers that you barely even see the layers. Um, so we'll have to see how it all works and comes together. But yeah, so that's kind of my game plan. Um, definitely adding lots of stuff that has dimension and lots of stuff that has texture and doing something fun with my journaling and stuff like that. So I think sometimes taking elements of two different layouts and trying to mesh them together to make them a double spread, but keep them cohesive is one really fun way to make a double page layout. So why don't you join me and watch as I put this whole layout together and hopefully it won't take too long, right? <laughs> hey my scrappy friends, I am back for the voiceover of Double Vision. So this is a series that I am doing on my YouTube channel that is sharing um, double t page spreads that I am making for my albums. I thought it would be fun to do this series so that I could just um, change the way that I'm doing things a little bit and maybe get um, some of those events or things that I have um, on my camera that need to be done more on a double page spread type of um, foundation so because you know we all have <laughs> those 10 photos of our children playing or uh you know 10 or 15 photos <laughs> of our flowers and our garden you know we all have all those those things right so i am just hoping to do something a little fun and different and just challenge myself because i find that you know, the way I scrap when I'm doing a double page is way different than what I do for a single page. So as you can see, I have cut strips. I'm going to put them all on the bottom and then I'm going to put a little bit up on the top. So I'm doing a little bit smaller of an and thinner strips up at the top. I think this will help keep the balance because I was kind of afraid by, not afraid, I shouldn't use the word afraid. I didn't know if I had just did the same thing on the bottom as on the top as if, if it would just kind of really boggle it down. <coughs> Excuse me. And I really love this concept of having a lot of light open space and that being um, a big focus because I think you can still have a lot of photos with that white space. I think in, in the case of this layout, it's going to look really good. I had a really hard time picking my papers at the beginning because I really wanted to stick with Maggie Holmes since I'm using her layouts as inspiration and I'm kind of meshing two together to kind of get one big long spread. So as I had said in the beginning, but I just um, her papers are a lot more cream based and I felt that with the photos that I was picking that it just quite wasn't working. It was just a little too cream for me. Um, I do add a little bit of her stuff, but, um, not too much. So I'm working on the title right now. I just added some stuff on the sides. I added those tags and I added, um, um, like a season ephemera pack tag and a circle and a fan like part of a radio um on the sides one of the layouts that i use had some stuff on the sides and i really liked that element and even though i have the strips i think it looks really cool like that so my title is going to be water water everywhere not a drop to drink uh i'm not putting the and in there that may be bug some people but i don't that's not a big deal to me. Uh, I am wanting to have a couple of different fonts because I really like the way that that looks. And I'm going to put the title on the top and the bottom because the one layout that I am using has the title like kind of up at the top. And um, I just really liked the way that it looked. Uh, I might try that again so that 
Uh, I can do it with just like an all white background, but that'll be for a whole nother layout. So I really like the way that it looks. It took me a little while to find some of the letter stickers that I was looking for because I really wanted those Studio Calco, those, um, the ones that I'm using right now. They're kind of a, uh, iridescent or something. They're very, they're really fun and it just kind of reminded me of water. And I do have a little bit of gold in the end on this layout too, but I don't think it's so much that they really like oppose each other and take away from the fit photos. I know that that's one thing about people or um, using lots of photos is that you don't want to, you want to be able to see the photos. That's why you have a lot of photos on your layout, right? You want to be able to look at them all at one time. And so that... So I find that really with the embellishments and stuff, you kind of want to keep it nice and simple, but you don't like, you don't have to not use stuff. As you will see, I use quite a bit of stuff. I still do a, quite a bit of layering. That is one of the elements from Maggie Holmes that I really am trying to um, capture because she uses a lot of layers. So I use some vellum and I use some tissue paper as some of my layers as well. And this help, this will help keep it kind of light. Okay, so now I'm, well, I was, but I didn't finish my concept because I start, I get looking at the photos and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to stick with kind of what I had. So I'm going to have this one where my son's poking the hole, the bigger four, six by four. And then I'm going to use those two three by fours and I'm going to stagger those. I kind of mentioned that at the beginning that that's what I thought I was going to do. And I do end up doing that. I really like the way that it looks. Um, does it look like the photos are going into the other layout? I don't know, but I use some of the same paper across the whole thing. So you kind of get um, mirror like some elements that are the same on both pages so that they look similar, but they're not completely similar. I think one thing that you could do if you wanted to do something similar to this is take one of the layouts, kind of twist it, and I might do this again uh, just because this was really fun, but I think that I could do it better. I think I picked um, a designer or something that maybe <laughs> wasn't quite as easy to do. Maybe I, next time I'll pick somebody who uses a, a few more pictures on so I can get a little bit better of a, of a feel for how it's gonna be because pretty much I just used a lot of the elements in the layouts that I seen instead of actually using um, the design as much because she just has a lot of her photos really or layouts only had like one or two photos on it and it was just it's kind of hard to envision what a five or a six or a maybe even a seven picture layout would look like so next week I really want to get down and hard and dirty with this and I'm gonna pick I really want to pick at least six photos but I'm thinking maybe seven or eight I really want to challenge myself um, I did one more photo this time than I did last time but I still feel like I could probably add more and have it be fun I think one thing that I'm trying to be open with and I hope that you guys are too is that um, you don't necessarily have to use all four by six sizes um, so that's something to think about I actually thought about making that one either of my son holding down the photo or the the little thingy on the water spout and making that a bigger photo but I really wanted to keep the the white space on this layout just because that's kind of the feel that I was going and in this photo because it's such a sunny day there's a lot of like very bright and white look to it and I really love that um, that's one of the things that I love that I was able to accomplish when I took these photos I used my DSLR with this to get these photos and then I did edit them a little bit in Photoshop so you know I took the time <laughs> to make them look like I mean obviously I didn't 
over Photoshop them by any means. I just went in and I just cleared up some of the colors or whatever that I thought needed to be done. But I usually don't over, if you guys follow me, you guys know I don't over Photoshop my photos. I really don't like the editing process. It's kind of boring to me and I'd rather spend time scrapbooking. So I focus more on taking a better shot when I use my camera. And this is something um, maybe as a little bit of a tip is uh, focus more on your photo taking time instead of the time that you're using editing or picking the photos that you're going to use. Because if you take a better quality photo, you're not going to spend as much time editing or having to pick the photos. You just know, oh yeah, this one was good. This one was good. This one was good. I like all these photos. I can use all these. And then you're going to have a better looking layout. I mean, obviously not every single photo that you're going to take is going to be good. Uh, believe me, I take tons of photos and I actually usually don't use many of them. And a lot of times, and I know I said this in um, the podcast a little bit, is that a lot of times I don't feel the need to add all these photos on one layout because Either I don't really feel like it necessarily, like taking, just using three as opposed to using five didn't really lessen my story any, but um, this is a perfect time to use six or seven photos, right? Because, I mean, who doesn't have photos of their kids playing in water or, like I said, like 10 photos of flowers that from your garden or things that you've bought from, you know, gardens or whatever, or the farmer's markets or, you know, your puppy or your kitty cat or whatever. So, I mean, we all have times where we take tons of photos. Okay, so now I'm working on the embellishment part. I've worked pretty much on layers and I chose to pick one photo in each little group that had a little bit more layers in them. And I used some washi tape because that was one of the things that was on um, one of the layouts that she had some washi tape in between her layers. And I'm just using stickers and I'm using tags and ephemera pieces from some of the packs. And I also have some of these felt uh, clouds that are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'll make sure I list um, her store with that link in there in the info box in case you're interested in some stuff like that because those are super cute. And I find that stuff like felt and cork, it just kind of adds a different element to your layout that kind of makes it fun. And I really was wanting to get different textures and just different things because that's one thing that Maggie does really well is that she has tons of different types of textures on her layout and dimension and it just really looks fun. So that's why I use the clips and I'm going to use these Your Lizzie letters and I kept them white because with all the color that I ended up using and I did try to keep it pretty neutral as you can see I have you know, some black and white, some grays and stuff, and I added a few pops of yellow. Now I'm using these Prima gem things, and they're really, really fun. I only had a few left, so I just added the rest of them. And now I'm just going to add some Spiegel Mom scraps, uh, some of her sequins. I have two different packs, but I only use the yellow and the blue from one pack, and then this light or uh, different matte yellow and like this lighter blue and then I use more of a teal color that I had that I don't even know where I got them the sequins from <laughs> so I'll make sure I link this Beagle Mom scrap sequins in below so here are the close-ups I will apologize that some of the bigger um elements that you see as far as these photos you will see my patio because that is just what I needed to take photos on to while I took photos for this and um, it's not my favorite background 
but the light on these photos turned out amazing. So I hope you enjoy. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was actually kind of fast layout. So um, I will try to do a little bit of a blog post for this for any of you guys who like to read more about stuff. And I'll try to have some details in there that um, focus more on the photos, these close-ups, because I have a ton. And I will see you guys later next week. And I hope you guys are having fun watching this series and making lots of double page layouts. I will see you guys later and have a great week.